With all the recent footage of Zangief that we've seen from Street Fighter 6 lately, I thought it was about time to make another quick guide. So today I'm going to teach you how to whiff punish people with the SPD and how to command throw people quickly when they get too close for comfort. But before we start the video, I would really like it if you could like the video, if you find it interesting, comment if there's anything you'd like to say and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get to it. When trying to use the command throw as a whiff punishment tool, it's really helpful to not just pace back and forward as you would normally, but to incorporate the grounded part of the SPD motion while moving. So you're doing half circle forward or half circle back while moving, and when they whiff or get too close, you just end it with up and punch. So you're walking like this, back and forward, and up and punch when they get too close or whiff a button. As you can see, Ken is neutral jumping after his tiny medium punch. So that means that when you land the command throw, there was a whiff punishment and there was no escape for Ken. This can also then be used to grab people when they're getting a little bit too close for comfort. It is not necessary to do the grounded part of the SPD while moving. It is just beneficial as the SPD will come out faster. Sometimes you will just be able to react with it as you're getting better and better to do the SPD motion. So this works because the throwable hurtbox on the character is in range for the SPD after the whiff. The throwable hurtbox is generally located in the center of the character's hurtbox. This will not work on every single button in the game, but it will work on most mediums and a lot of heavies. Now a really cool example is chun Li's standing heavy punch. Again, chun Li is jumping after the standing heavy punch. You can see that chun Li is really far away when she presses the button. But during the animation of the move, she moves the body hurtbox and the throwable hurtbox yeah. forward and leaves it there for a little bit during recovery, which will allow you to use the command throw as a whiff punishment. But if you're too late, she's going to reel back yeah. and you're going to whiff. Even though she's not recovered, she can still get out of the command throw whiff punish because you missed the window to punish the throwable hurtbox or to throw the throwable hurtbox. Some buttons yeah. does not have the throwable hurtbox to be with punished by the SPD and you will need to find other means to get around them. Huh? Again, Rose is jumping after the standing heavy punch. It will not be possible for Sengif to whiff punish that move with the SPD yeah. because the throwable hurtbox is too far away to be whiff punished with the command throw. But a normal button is very easy to land as a whiff punish because the button yeah. itself is really whiff punishable, it's just that the SPD needs to interact with the throwable uh. hurtbox. It will work on a lot of heavies in the game because they often move the throwable hurtbox forward into the recovery, like Ken standing heavy kick or Karin standing heavy kick, and it will work on most mediums. Some heavies and some mediums it will not work on, but it is a tool that is great to incorporate and a tool that is great to use if you're going to be a Zangief main. Also, with the same technique, it will be easier for you to command throw people when they're getting too close so that they will be really f afraid to get into that close zone where they might be able to use their crouching medium kicks or things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope this guide helps you and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to know.